Look. Welcome to the Hood Journal Podcast. I'm here with. It's your boy Jay Lee fan. Boy, it's nice to finally meet you. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you for inviting me into your home. I appreciate your work ethic. You post a video like every single day, and I appreciate that because it just makes me want to go harder. It's you, you being Honduran, you representing the culture, you make me proud to also be Honduran. So I appreciate the love and support, and now you're so excited to be here because I'm excited to have you on. Tell me a little bit about your upbringing. Coming to South Bronx. Coming up, I was like that shy kid for me, like the outcast. I didn't really have friends. It stuck with me to like seventh, eighth grade. Playing ball really got me like around people and the people were recognizing me. So I'm gonna just cross that hoop. Like, I always just ask like the, the older kids during recess, like, yo, can I hoop a child? Can I hoop a child? Mm-hmm. What does it mean for you to be from Honduras? It's a huge honor, bro. Like, like I said in one of my videos, like the culture is like you fit in with literally everyone. So you you cool with the whole community. Like, you speak Spanish. But I feel yeah. very honored to be to be from there. What's your favorite part about the country? The music, the party, and the food. And then there's always a fight. It's not a hundred point without a fight. 2014. I'm not a good Spanish. Speaker. Speaking to my cousins out there was very hard, you know what I'm saying? I had to force myself to like, speak to my cousins in a language that was like not making sense. Yeah. Pupusas. I like pupusas. Well, that's why. Yeah. I know one of your favorite beds is a Yes, yes, bro. Chata go yeah. crazy. One thing a lot of people don't know, I literally played with like the top players like oh, in the country. I played in a Tri-State Classic All-Star Game. And you know I'm saying I played in the Hoops in the Sun All-Star Game with, with like Ram. Molly, DJ, Jalen, Marlon. I played at Dykeman, shout out to Back to Basics, I played at Dykeman. Like literally, like I was just enjoying basketball. I was never like into senior year, I was never like, oh, like the NBA, the NBA, the NBA. It was just like, I'm just hooping for fun now. Like junior year, I started doing like YouTube. Then come senior year, like I probably was like at the 600 mark, 700 mark subscribers. Like a lot of people was like, Already tuning in to my videos in school and stuff. Like I was doing macro interviews, like generating views and stuff. So I'm like, yo, like I think I should take this like man serious. Like I was doing, I was doing videos with my ex and stuff. So like, like you know, we got a lot of attention in school and stuff. So boom, like I started getting looks. I started like working out with Monroe College and stuff. And um, the coach I found out that I was getting paid for YouTube. So once he found out, um, like it's against the rules, you can't make money on, on YouTube and still play like in the NCAA. League. So like I had to like choose, I had to choose like either food or like YouTube and shit like. So YouTube, so YouTube, like that Momo video was hitting. <laughs> that, that Momo video was hitting. So like the like, like the YouTube fan, me, I'm not gonna be in, in Monroe, like you know, not making money and stuff. So. If I could go back, I would like, I would probably be like, still, I probably would have chose both, but like, but like, I don't regret things in life, like, you know, like, I think it's the best decision, like, think I've met people, I've met people and been in places because like, I didn't go to college, you know, like, I chose, I chose YouTube for a reason, like, it was for a reason, I already know. You wanna hear the story? Yeah, we're talking. All right, so he had a YouTube channel, right? Various gamer TV, right? Okay. So I'm like, I'm new to YouTube. For me, I'm like, I'm never like, you know, I'm, I heard about YouTube. But I ain't ready to like post like videos and stuff, you no, know, like that. He's, I seen him doing it. So I'm like, cool, like, yo, like, I want to do YouTube. Da-da-da. He like, yo, bro, you're going to be trash at YouTube. Like, <laughs> like, like, don't do it. Da-da-da. You're going to suck. I'm very competitive, like, in whatever I do. Like, I don't care if I don't know how to do it. I'm going to find a way to do it and like try to teach you how to, you know. And so, Boom, I do my YouTube channel, you know what I'm saying? Me and my ex are doing videos, da da da. Boom, like, probably the first video, probably like 500 views, right? Mm, okay. That's what like, was that first video? I forgot. I think it was like, it was a challenge, I know that for sure. I show him, he like, bro, like, uh, till this day he still does it, right? Mm. He like, bro, da da da, like, that's nothing, that's nothing, that's nothing. So I'm like, cool. I passed him a subscriber count. Now he, now he panicking. You know what I'm saying so. I, I, I surpassed him now. You know what I'm saying, but back then, like when I passed him for the first time, he was panicking. Like, oh, da da da. Is that better on? Is that better on it? Nah, nah. I wish, but I didn't know. I didn't know that. Like, I didn't know I was funny. I didn't know that I got to be like, in like in front of the camera like that. I just did it because like. I wanted to do it, like just just to like prove him wrong. Like, so okay. to answer your question, I did YouTube literally to prove him wrong. That, that's literally why. Were there any struggles like at the beginning in regards to like YouTube vids? I say I, I want to say the struggles came a little later on okay. as I started like 
I'm doing more YouTube videos. Like in the beginning, it was like, you know, we're testing the water, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing really wrong that we could do, we're just learning. But as I like got the thousand subscribers and stuff, and like now I'm supposed to take it like even more serious with the quality and the, and the creative ideas. Um, that was a struggle, finding ideas that people are gonna wanna watch, not just videos that you just wanna put out. Like, is there is there anyone in the YouTube space that you like look up to and like for um like inspiration or for like ideas or for advice? Anyone that you enjoy to watch? Um, DDG. So DDG like literally inspired me to like I don't know like not even on the YouTube aspect like just life in general, like, just the way how you manage your money, how you like move around in life, like how you do this and that basically like so. Yeah. So as a YouTuber, what's your ultimate goal with your content? It's like, as you guys know, like you're watching out there, you, know, you guys know that I've been slacking a lot on YouTube. So like, I'm trying to like rebuild my brand and like, and try to make it something that like, that had never been done before. That's what I like, you know, I like doing things that like never been done before. So with this YouTube thing, like, I, I, I do want to like, either do like a, a group thing Whereas it's just group challenges, or I just want to like just go out and like do like different videos, like like just not here, like not in the in home, just go out and like do different like videos. You know what I'm saying so. What's your guys' relationships like, and like why do you have to prank him so much? I'm not gonna lie, cause he just be like he be giving me like I don't know like he's easy to catch. Like if I have to like if you see a prank in the GoPro. Like you just know that like it's time, like, it's on time. Like he's not seeing it, whatever. Like I'm saying, so like I don't know. Both of them, both of them, like literally. But I haven't pranked him the other one in a minute. But like Tommy and, and like specifically, like it's, just, it's just easy. Like, do you ever feel bad for him like, when you prank him? The only time I felt bad for him was the Viagra prank. It was got deleted. But that was literally the only time I, I felt bad for him because like I did like. Talk to me about your relationship with uh, JP and NYC, like how you guys met, uh, what videos you've done uh, previously, and like, what you guys hope to do in the future. JP and NYC, my dog, like, I met him through Denny. Like, Denny invited me to JV and NYC's crib one day, probably like a, couple, like a couple years ago. I think I was still in high school for sure, so probably like 2018. <coughs> and yeah, definitely 2018. So that was my first time meeting him. I went to his crib, blah, blah, blah. And ever since then, like, JV and NYC has been genuine throughout. Like, he hasn't done no wrong, like, since then. Like, he always supported, yo, do this, do that. Yo, um, how can, or he always asks me, like, yo, how can I do this? Like, or how you do this? And I always, like, try to help him and stuff. So, um, videos we did, like, I think our first video was a skit, actually. And it's crazy, because our first skit, I knew it, like, I saw I knew him since 2018. Our first skit was a couple months ago this year so it's like I like um building a, a friendship and a bond you know like when when I gotta do like skits or like you know type of YouTube videos with or, like collabing and stuff and um yeah that's how it happened like the first the first skit we did got mad views on, on Facebook I don't put on Facebook now, but I, I got mad views on, on IG too and, and yeah for the future like I just want him 
to win, like, I'm with him to win, but I know he want me to win, so, like, with his TikTok, I know it's gonna be, it's gonna be first, and I just want him to be consistent, so that way, later on, like, you know, he had Ron Solo posting him, uh, like, uh, Corey Kenton posting him, so, like, Flight posting him, you Yeah, know? I seen that one. So, like, like, the, the sky's the limit for him, to be honest, like, really. I always say this, like, meeting him and, and actually being in his presence, you know, and, like, it's crazy, because... I never told anybody the story, but um, we were filming the film, right? And we had to meet at this at this Airbnb. And so he sees me. He's like, "Yo, you got Ethan, right?" So I mean, like, he had commented on my video like, prior before that. He was like, "Yo, you got Ethan, right?" I was like, "Yeah." He was like, "Yeah, bro." Like, I was like, "I was like, damn, bro, yeah. this nigga that like remember me and stuff." Like, bro, that's crazy. But just being in his presence, bro, like seeing the way he like handles his, his work and stuff, like he takes his things serious, like, yo, if he wants this, like. Shot and if he wants this this scene filmed again, okay. he tells that yo like now nah, we got film again. I don't like I don't like the way this came out. Like it's not like it's some oh I right, one two three boom I be out. Like it's, nah, I want this shit perfect. Like yeah. and we and we was in the hood, bro. Like, and, like on his block, just filming the whole night, bro. Mm -hmm. Cops was supporting him. Like yo, Capri has you. I'm like yeah, that's crazy. When I seen that, bro, I'm like yo, like that's he got it, bro. Like that's different type of love. Like literally, bro. I was like no way, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, they let him rock out the whole night on the block, like just watching over him, like literally, bro, like making sure nothing happened, bro. Mm -hmm. He ain't asked for that, he ain't asked for nothing. They were, they just did that because they seen Capri. They're like, you like, yo, Capri, like you, bro? Yeah, all right, bro, all right, just, just make sure, da 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 da, da like you good, <laughs> you need at this same time. Like, damn, bro. Yeah, that's tough. Oh, that film, um, has it been released yet? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Out? It came out a minute ago, like a couple months ago, it was about it was about COVID and stuff, like, you know, zombies and stuff, yeah. like, quarantine, I feel like it brought the best out of me, you know, like, I, I watched, I watched someone, I forgot who it was, but they was like, yo, this is the perfect time, like, to show who you really are as a creator, like, nobody's outside, like, everybody's in the house, everybody want to, everybody want to watch something, you know, um, you have to really find an idea, exactly, and I feel like the pandemic brought the best side of me as a YouTuber. I literally dropped a video every day. Like, if you was subscribed to me at the time, you saw a video every day. Like, you wasn't missing a day without a video, you know? I noticed on your Instagram page that your views were slowly going up. Yeah. You know what I noticed? Because I was watching them backwards. So I was yeah. watching like, your most recent one first, and you are like, around like 1k 1.3k 1.8k yeah at the beginning you was around 700 yes. 800 views yes thank you for bringing that up bro literally bro because i want people to know that like yo last year last year like literally around this time i wasn't touching a thousand for nothing like i know on facebook you was getting a lot of love on the videos with the um with the guy from the artist like, yes 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 i saw kenny i saw kenny right okay. so he started Y'all probably seen him most likely with the um he does like yo which one from McDonald's. Oh, he did like, like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. So like I was like, yo, bro, like why not do a Shut like, my bird, like, with an artist, you know what I'm saying? With the with the pop with popular songs. Boom. I think the first one I did was Nino Arzu. Went crazy, like, you know, and I just I just did it out of boredom. Like I was just bored, like <laughs> yo, like wait, let me just do it on board and the videos that take off are the ones when I just be like, yo, I'm bored, like, let me do this, like, this is a fire right there, and it, take off, it took off, like, right. so from there I went on, like, who's the next artist that people listen to? Lil Jon, boom, who's next, t Sensor, boom, so, like, people started, like, yo, like, nah, what's mad funny, like, people, people hit me up, like, yo, bro, like, you mad funny, da da da, like, I don't usually, and I, I won't say I don't usually get that, because before I usually didn't get that, but now, like, it be kids like yo, like you can tell it's genuine. Now. It's genuine love, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and and I think I do I I do it for like the supporters. Now I don't even do it for myself. I do it for the supporters now because I know that they engage to my videos all these so. bro. And it's crazy, bro. Cause last summer I think that was like, the whole slogan like like yeah like yeah I don't care yeah I'll go to cookouts. What's good? I don't care yeah like <laughs> like I'm be like what bro like it just it just became a thing like. I, I literally started to think from nothing. I was just saying it because I thought that's that's what my mom say. Like yeah. my mom does say like like when I'm arguing with her or something, like she was like, I don't care, like, like yeah. she don't like listening to me, so she says that. Like people thought I was just saying it just to say it. It's the same with my mom. I, I heard my mom for what you were saying. <laughs> How's your mental health in regards to like, you know, you have to you have all these um 
um, things that you have to take account for when it comes to uh, you doing your own work? Um, honestly, my, my, my mental health has gotten better in the past two months, you know? Like, I was very, I was in a deep hole, you know what I'm saying? Like, in dark, dark space, like, mentally, you know? And, um, like, I, I want to say I, over, I overcame, you know? Thanks to thanks to God first, cause I mean, He was there with me through the whole process, you know. But yeah, like you know, it's just certain things that like you gotta eliminate from your life to like grow. Really, like you know, really friends. You gotta sacrifice. Like, like you gotta like, literally like let certain friends go. Like you know, like in order to grow, like you just gotta make certain sacrifices that are gonna hurt. You know, but like shit, like. That'll help you, help you become better. Exactly, like, you know, eating habits, you know, like, um, certain friends that are just not benefiting you, like, like, or, <clears throat> or, like, just things that you do, like, so like, activities that you may engage in. Yeah, you know? exactly, you know, like, like, look, like, activities that you, that you may engage in is a big key, bro, because, like, you know, it's not going to help you, so I, it, it was a tough process, but I, I, I learned later on, and, you know, I'm here now, like, I, I see I'm, I'm good mentally now, it's what it's yeah, I bad, bro. Bad. Appreciate that. If you ask anybody, oh, Gene's a nice guy, very nice guy, very nice. like, he, he doesn't buy nobody, he just be chilling, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I'm not able to recognize me as forever. I don't want nobody to, like, you know, say, oh, he was, he did this, he did that, but he's capped, you know? With that being said, let's get into the quick hitters. What's the inspiration behind your stage name, Elite Fam Jelly? All right, so obviously I don't know Jelly Fam. You know I'm saying, okay, um, nice. I was like, yo, I want to make my like. I'm, I'm always, I'm always trying to stand out, like literally all in everything I do. So I'm like, yo, like, like I want to make, I want to make a group. You know what I'm saying, make my own fam. Yeah, make my own fam. You know what I'm saying. So I was like, yo, I, I was thinking about so many fans. Like I, I don't know the names, but I remember it, it was just not Elite Fam was not the first one. It was different names. And I'm in middle school too, so I'm, I think I'm like in, I'm in seventh grade for sure. So I'm like, yo, B fam is the one. And then me and my man was like, so Rod, he was like, yeah, B fam. And he added he added it to his name too. And then I just carried it on since then. So then it just instead of like I used it for hooping, but I was like, yo, like, like let me add it to my YouTube channel, B fam world. That's fun about being a YouTuber. Everybody can see the creativity. So. Like, you know, it's different from doing skits. Like, YouTube, you can actually, like, go crazy with it. Like, you know, pranks, you know what I'm saying? Pranks or, like, you, you can really do anything and people could actually see that, like, yo, like, nah, this video is fire. You know what I'm saying? So, I think I think that's the best part, like, people just seeing creativity. Mm -hmm. And what's the, um, the worst part about it? If there is the worst part, um, or the most having, having people engage into your videos. Mm -hmm. like, like you could have, like you said, you could put blood, sweat, and tears into one video, and the video doesn't pop off as you expected it to, and then yeah, that should be hurting, bro. Cause you like, yo, this is the one, this is the one, and then it end up being not the one, and the video you thought wasn't the one <laughs> ends up being as in, as up becoming the one that that starts going crazy, and then like, I think one video, I think one video, um, it it wasn't like. I was trolling Kaisenai. I was trolling Kaisenai, right? And so I had a video, I was like, yo, you have 24 hours to respond. Mm -hmm. to Kai, uh, it was to Kaisenai, right? And I mean, this is when I was, I was in high school, 2019. Bro, I wake up in the morning, all I see is, all I see is comments from his, from his army. <laughs> Fan page. Kai Mafia, bro. Oh, no. They just spamming me, bro, on my YouTube video, bro. Like, saying hurtful shit, though. Yeah, like, crazy, like it hurts. Like, it hurts, bro. Like, I was like, bro, delete. I delete the video, bro. <laughs> like, I, like, bro, I was like, now, nah, if I hit him up, like, bro, I apologize, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know what I'm saying? He got back to you? Nah, nah, he ain't get back to me. But, you know, as long as it's there, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I did my you part. Do, just do. You know what I'm saying? So, I was like, yo, bro, like, you should have seen the way he was spamming me, bro. I was literally off yeah, the way, though. Nah, 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 it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't like that crazy. Cause I, ain't, cause I wasn't, you know, like, like we YouTubers, I'm saying, it was just trolling, like, yo. I still, I still, I still had him on my, I was still showing him love, but I was showing, I was showing up at the same time. I'm like, mm -hmm. I put him on my top 10 New York, New York YouTubers list and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I, I just, I just decided to do that just to like, see how, how he, how he react. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm surprised I didn't hear no, uh, Khalifa no artist. Nah, I'm, 
I'm I'm listening to them. Like, yeah, me neither. Like, they'll be probably playing from my sister and stuff, and I'm in tune with the with the music because, like, you know, like I know I, I know some of them and stuff, and so like I'm like, oh shit, like, but as far as like sitting there, like, yo, let me play this on my on my own time, nah, like, I'm saying, but as well like as well like hip hop, like Drake, Thug, Gunna, and Kanye. Honorable mentions. Towards me. Travis Scott. Okay, okay, okay. Nope, Travis. Travis, 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 how about let's go between Drake, Travis, and Kanye? Drake, Travis, and Kanye. Drake, I'm, I'm starting Drake, I'm Benson, Kanye, and I'm cutting Travis. All right, you, you, so you know the way to answer. What is your basketball Mount Rushman? Top four favorite players of all time? MJ, Kobe, Braun, KD. Honorable mentions? And Kyrie. Honorable mentions, Harden, put Shaq in there. Oh, okay, okay. No, matter of fact, Put Kyrie in the honorable mention and put Shaq in the top four. I'm tripping right now. Oh, okay. yeah. It will have to be me, my boy Brando, my mom, my boy Kev, Low Key, and then I want to throw in like a celebrity there, yeah, like a funny nigga, like Kevin Hart. Mm, and they were like Kevin Hart, bro. Because we all comedians, bro. bro. I like watching Husband of Hollywood. Yo. That shit is so funny. Bro, you can see, see how like, all of them, they just like, all just funny. Yeah, you know, naturally like, funny. Yeah, they, forcing it. Exactly, bro. Like, that's <laughs> how we are, bro. Like, like, like we'll look at each other, start laughing mm -hmm. on, some, on some crazy shit like that, bro. So, at the Honduran Parade, bro, mm -hmm. 2019, the year you see, okay, that's okay, how okay. I performed, bro. Yo, a, a little girl, bro, she came out, she was crying. Mm -hmm. She was really crying. Not like, oh, like, oh my God, like, not like that, you know? But she was like, yo, hi, like, like, hi, Sessa. Because, like, the skits I used to do back then, like, they'll call me Sessa. Okay. She was like, oh my god, hi, Sessa. She gave me a hug and she was, like, dead crying. Bro, I was like, bro, like, what, bro? Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, damn. Now it's just like, now it's just regular people, like, yo, bro, I said, fuck with you, I'm saying, blah, blah, blah. like, yo, like, keep doing your thing. Like, that was my first interaction with, like, like somebody that came up to me, like recognize you, recognize me. I'm like, yo, bro, like what, bro? Like she's tearing up, like for what? Like I'm not even, I'm not even <laughs> there yet, and I'm just chilling still. Like, I always keep that in the back of my mind too. Like. My most memorable moment while recording, when niggas was boxing and all this. Yes, stuff, yes. Was lit. I think yeah, I think that to be that one. I feel like people just you don't you, you don't usually see that mm. around here. Like you don't usually see a YouTuber like yo, other than me. Um, my boy Jordani, shout out to him, or like Swift, you know, like we, I feel like we're the only like YouTubers that like, you know, like around here that like just, just go outside like, yo, like, like, let's create content, like, mm -hmm. it's like the boxing match and, um, the egg challenge, the okay. egg challenge, I feel like people just was watching us and like, yo, like, what the hell, that shit's mad funny, like, mm -hmm. like, and, and, and the boxing thing, like, it was even better because people were seeing that and it, and I was showing them like, yo, they're boxing, but they're still showing love after like the whole boxing thing. Like, it's not like they yeah, really, they yeah, don't really got beef or nothing, you know. Like they were so exactly, you know. Projects I didn't go ditch. I wanna yo, I wanna get to that, cause talk about it I I just wanna say one thing. I'm not I'm not downplaying nobody. I'm not throwing shade at nobody. I just wanna say that I was the first person. To ever do ding dong ditch in the project. Oh, yeah, you for me, for me, for me, for me. Like, bro, and I, I got is 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 on YouTube. Like, you can see, you can search it up. Like, ding dong ditch in the project. You know what I'm saying, I'm the first person ever. You know what I'm saying, like, I'm really the first person. And shout out to everybody who did it. <laughs> shout out to everybody who did it. I just want everybody to know that I'm the first person yeah, to have it. Please give me his credit. Though. Yeah, just give me my credit. I'm saying, just give me my credit. Like, like you know what I'm saying, just don't run off with the bed. I'm saying, y'all yeah, gonna expect high level. Entertainment, I'm saying, like when I say high level entertainment, I'm talking about you're gonna see people that didn't expect me to collab with. Um, you're gonna see people who that y'all watch yourselves too. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, so your favorite YouTubers, your favorite, favorite YouTubers, influencers. your favorite influencers, comedians, musicians, mm -hmm. artists, all that. I mean, y'all gonna see me in a 
around around this around the country. Uh, who do you want to see next on her journey? Um, I'm not gonna lie, I think I want to see Kasi Nat or or Phantom. Anyone you want to shout out? Anything you want to get off your chest? Time is down. Shout out to the whole clique, you know. Yeah, I, mean, I know y'all may not say me, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Shout out to the dog side, not me. Oh, not me, um, shout out to the family, shout out to, to everybody who supports me, my brand, my music, my, my, my comedy, my YouTube, shout out to everybody, you know what I'm saying? And if you don't support me, you know what I'm saying? Y'all already know what I can do, man. Hope one night. <laughs> Literally, bro, just one word. That's all I can do, man. That's it. My boy Jay, I appreciate you. I mean, thank you for this experience. This was it. Thank you for the opportunity, bro. Um, I definitely do appreciate you. And um, I'm looking forward to more heat in the future. Yes, sir, Steve. Tell me that you love me, yeah. Heart so cold, I need to let go. 